Okay, so this is a drum I found on Reverb. I'm kind of scared to open it because this is a giant box and it's just a snare drum and I hear something a little bit loose in there. So we'll get to this in a second. But as the story goes, someone messaged me on Instagram and was like, hey, I found this drum and it was a listing, a screenshot of a Facebook marketplace listing for a drum for $400 and the listing was like super rare plastic snare drum Ludwig prototype or something and again it was $400 and he was like hey I thought you might be interested in this and for $400 I definitely wasn't and I had heard of those drums before but I never really actively was looking for one or I never really came across one before so I did some research just to see what they go for and sure enough I found this one. So inside of this box is a plastic snare drum. Do I get a free scale? Okay, well, there is a drum. What in the heck? <laughs> okay, so I've seen some odd packing materials and I've used some weird packing materials, but I've never used an orange juice container some pulp on top of that some grape juice getting all the, the fruits up in there all right so that noise is the internal muffler screw i actually knew that it was missing the screw it was like that on the listing but this thing oh my is a little bit dusty i really was expecting this to weigh nothing at all but it has some weight to it five pounds ten ounces and for comparison, here is an Acrylite, just about seven pounds. And now we have a slightly better looking snare drum. From what I keep reading about these shells, this plastic is the same plastic that they used on the UFO cases. And from what I understand, this is supposed to be like a super budget friendly snare drum for like students, I guess. But these weren't really that popular or they just gave up on the idea. I'm not really sure the full story on these. And from what everyone is saying, these sound horrible. I've never heard of one. I've never played one, so we'll find out today. So the shell is right under a quarter of an inch and anywhere I check the shell, it's a little bit different. There are bearing edges on the drum, which is good. The ones on the batter side seem to be a bit more defined and a bit more clean than the snare side. The edges on the snare side are a bit more rough, but I think that's just because of the snare beds. If you look at the drum, honestly, it doesn't look like it has snare beds, but it's like the bearing edge is flat from this point to this point and same thing on the, uh, the side with the throw off. So it's like completely flat here. It raises up a little bit and has a typical round over on the outside. And then it goes back to flat here, then a little raised up here with the round over and then back to flat. So I, I guess those are the snare beds. Um, again, they're like really flat and really wide. So I don't know. And as far as the hardware goes, we have a P85 throw off. I don't know if this drum has been messed with, but one of the screws is a bit longer. A P32 butt plate, and this one also seems to have a slightly longer screw. We have a standard internal muffler with the uh, plate bracket thing on it. That's what these two extra screws are. You see these on a lot of the early Vista lights. I'm guessing to kind of take up the pressure on the shell to uh, not crack it. And of course, a Ludwig combo badge. At first, I was kind of confused why they would make a new lug for this drum, especially if they're trying to save money. You think they'll just use the lugs that they already have. But this is actually made out of plastic, so this weighs absolutely nothing at all. 20 grams, then a bow tie lug, 55 grams. So this is like less than half of that. If you've taken apart a lot of plastic things, you've probably seen screws like this, but this is more like a wood screw with coarser threads compared to a machine screw because I guess this grabs better on the plastic and doesn't strip out as much. Also, the lugs have this thick gasket on it, which I think is more to hold the shape of the lug and not break it out as you tune up the drum. And knowing that this is plastic actually really scares me now because you can see that uh, this part is already cracked a little bit and a little bit bent. So now I'm like really scared to tune this thing up because I feel like these are just gonna snap. All right, let's put this thing back together. 
I decided to use the head that came on it. Sure, it's kind of old, but it's in decent shape. Also, I cut out some vinyl circles to put on the underside of the head to help try and muffle it some. My plan is to tune the drum somewhat low so that the lugs don't snap and so the shell doesn't implode, so a little bit of muffling won't hurt. And I almost forgot, Hendrix Drum sent me out some of these sleeve washers, so this is the perfect drum to try them out since they help hold the drum in tune, which is good for lower tunings. I wanted to use the snare side head that came with it, but I think I'll use a different one. Now, tuning this thing was kind of weird, as I tuned each set of lugs, it was almost like the shell was bowing in a bit, making it like an egg, almost, so I really took my time to make sure that each lug was tensioned evenly. For the snares, I have these old Ludwig wires, they're pretty straight, but more importantly, the ends are plastic. So there is the Ludwig Combo Plastic Snare. Let's play this thing and hope it doesn't snap in half. It actually sounds good. <laughs> 